But the fire is so delightful Since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Oh, holy night The stars are brightly shining It is the night of our dear Savior's birth I don't ask a lot for Christmas There's only one thing I need And I don't care about the presents Underneath the Christmas tree Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open sleigh Over the fields we go Laughing all the way Hang on the mistletoe I wanna get to know you better This Christmas Merry Christmas Merry Christmas And Happy Holidays Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Oh, welcome to Variety with John and Anna. I am John Cancio. And I'm Anna. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we're all decorated here. Anna's friend actually made some beautiful, at, like very inexpensively, right? Some yes. beautiful decorations. Yes, my boss actually. Um, I gave her $25 and she went to the dollar store and purchased all these beautiful items, um, you know, at, at an affordable rate. I mean, $25 for a wreath. Um, door knockers, um, an ornament, I don't know if you can see it here, um, a be two beautiful um, centerpieces, um, all for $25, and 25. there were still materials left over. So we can wow. all, I know we're dealing with the you know, world of a recession, mm -hmm. but we can all decorate our house for the holidays at an affordable rate. But that takes talent in order to take all these materials and make things out of them that takes yeah. a lot of talent yeah. like i couldn't do that because i'm not artistic in that way but you never so know unless you try so but yeah this um this woman my boss joanne she's very talented she's a designer she designs clothes and you know well they're beautiful does her own nails everything like they're beautiful decorations yes yeah. tell her i said that i will so i've missed you it's Thanks, been a joanne. while i know since i've seen you it's so. been a minute it's been a, uh, uh, I say, a humbling journey this year for myself, 2010. <laughs> it's coming to an end now. So what was 2010 for you? 2010 for me um, was great. I mean, a lot of things happened. Um, you know, I, I, I experienced nice things like, like the cruise, going on vacations, a lot of weddings. Weddings are always nice. Really? What did you experience in the year of 2010? You know, 2010 was really a crossroads for myself. Okay. So it's, it, that's why I say, I, like I really call it a humbling journey. That's yeah. what I call 2010. So, because I was ill and it happened a few times and it was just a crazy year. It's like the crossroads yeah. of my life. So I'm just, I'm hoping, you know, I'm not complaining because there were some good things that right. happened in the year and right. stuff. But, you know, I'm hoping 2011 is better. And we have to go through trials and tribulations and adversities. Because, you know, if you don't have pain, you're not going to know what happiness is. And it really know? all happens for a reason. Like, we don't know why this is happening. Like, we get to meet this person. Right. You know, if this doesn't happen to us, then certain things don't happen in our lives. Right. You know what I mean? Everything has a purpose. People. Yeah, Everything there's has a purpose. purpose. So, Nothing you know, is accidental. Had I not been, went to college, I would have never met Anna. Right. Had I not met Anna, we would not be here today. So it all just sort of transformed. Yeah, and works out. But, but I'm really excited about Christmas. I really am Me this year. This, I can say this is the first time that I've been excited <laughs> that Christmas is actually here. Right. Really? Why? Really? I don't know. I've Even never, as a kid, you weren't excited? A little bit, but I've never really been into it. You yeah. know, I've never been like a huge holiday person. So yeah. this year is really the first time I can say that I'm you're really into excited it. and into it. Yay. Yes. So. And I love the holiday season, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the other um, holidays, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. It's nice because people are nice to each other yeah. and they're not, you know what I mean? And it's jolly. It's just a but jolly I, I honestly season. think that the reason why mm -hmm. is b getting sick a couple of times. I think that really, and you know, I say things happen for a reason. Right. I think being sick a few times really made me appreciate. So yeah. now it's like I'm really excited about the holidays. Right. 
There you so, go. And yeah. appreciation is so important. That's what the holidays are really all about, about love and appreciation to That's me. That's right. And see, something bad, you know, bad things sometimes make good yeah, things. Like, you know, good yeah. things happen out of them. Right. So... There's always a silver lining. That's right. So What goes up must come down. That's you know? right. And me and Anna here are today doing a whole show of hot topics on Christmas. So we're Christmas! that's always nice to do. So and I know a lot of you like hearing us chat. So we're here to chat for you the whole hour. So what is your New Year's resolution? Do you have one? I didn't come up with one yet, did you? For me <laughs> We're having malfunctions already. <laughs> For me, um, my new New Year's resolution is to not swear. Really? Why you yeah. have a you have a trucker mouth? Yeah, I do. They, I do. They call um, that, yeah. But the thing is, to me, swear words are really just fillers to what you could say if you used your brain enough to do so. You okay. Know what I so, mean? so what's Anna's favorite swear word? <laughs> <laughs> the first letter. The first letter. What do you say a lot? What swear word do you F. say a lot? Really? I say that a lot. But you do, know what? My news resolution. Do you say like enthusiastically or? Like, I do. I say I swear as a part of my daily life. language, so daily do, vocabulary, do like and that's saying, not good. Like that's totally not good. So I just want to cut it all out. But it is not cute. Do you it's consciously do it, or does it just slip out? Um, sometimes I consciously do it, but sometimes it just slips out. So what do you do? You're just like, how the F are you? Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. never seen her do that. Yes. You do? I mean, I, I don't want to swear. You know, I used to, when I was a child, I used to think swearing was so gross and dirty. Mm -hmm. I would hear other people swear and yeah. I'd be like, ew, that sounds so horrible. I think we should have a jar and every time you swear, you have to put in a quote. Yeah. Or a dollar. Or a yeah. dollar. And then you'll really not want to swear. And that way, I'll save money. There you go. Oh, would I give you the money? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should get the money, definitely. <laughs> you oh, that, take that money we and invest swear. it into something. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that, that's a good idea. We should have a job. Yeah, we should do that. And every time you swear, you have to put... Would you be honest, though? I would. I you would. You would be honest and put money I in would. there. I so. would. I would. I didn't know that you swore a lot like no? that. No? Mm-mm. I didn't mm -hmm. know. So. Maybe I don't do it around do you. Maybe you bring it? out the best in me. That's quite possible. Now, do you do it? And do, do you ever do? Do you do it more when you're aggravated, though? Yes. Oh my God, definitely. Yeah. Like so. I would say, this is my New Year's resolution: to cut the swearing out of my daily language, mm -hmm. but only, but just have it for when I'm angry. Okay. I feel like it's justifiable. Okay. At that point. <laughs> okay. But just to be, if I'm happy, like oh, blah, 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 you know just what I mean. Just not swear casually. Yeah. So do yeah. you ever swear in front of like professionals? Like, no, you know, no, absolutely not. So I'm you able have to. A, so I, you're able to control it. Yeah. And you, and you I know have what some you're type doing. of control. Yeah. Okay. Like obviously in a professional setting, mm -hmm. or if I'm around children or something like that, obviously I wouldn't swear. So it's conscious. So you know what you're. Yeah. You know what you're yeah. doing. Okay. Yeah. So what about you? What's your I don't resolution? really have one. I don't know. To stay healthy. I want to have go. a healthy year to travel. Travel is always cool, right? Yeah. Go places. I have to have some success. Be happy. That's yeah. that's pretty much it. I don't have one specific thing. I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. I don't drink too much. Yeah. Don't do drugs or anything like that. Woo! I'm good. I'm pretty good. So staying healthy. That's that's yes. the goal. Don't do drugs, guys. Don't do drugs. Say no. Say no. 